Mr. Joshi, uh, good afternoon. Thank you for talking to me. Yes, Mr. Uh, I, I wonder if you followed Namaskar what uh, Thank you. if you followed what Vinodra has been saying uh, and revealing about what he knew of what was happening during that period on 2G and Colgate. I'd like your general views and responses first. You know, many of these uh, his reports were examined by PAC during my chairmanship, sir. So I know what he has said in the reports, and I had also looked into the evidence which came forward from the government side. On the 2G side report, I had in my report, which was hotly contested by the Congress people, after a certain uh, point of uh, evidence, I had clearly mentioned that the Prime Minister owes an explanation to the nation why this happened and how this happened. Uh, Mr. Joshi, do you believe the Congress Party's that response my... in saying that, uh, A, he should have said all of this earlier? and be then in questioning him individually and personally and saying that he's looking for post-retirement benefits is a fair reaction. Well, uh, I was one of those who said that if you have something against the CAG, then there was a way open. Constitution provides an impeachment for the CAG. So they could have impeached him if they really thought that he was speaking untruth or he was uh, maligning a particular party or a person and was transgressing his limits, they could have come with malafide intentions against him and impeached him. They didn't do it. Instead, they started mudslinging outside the um, uh, parliament and sometimes even in the PSC. Uh, so, were you aware that Congress that has... Was something uh, high, highly... Uh, Sir. No. Pardon me? I was just asking you, were you aware that Congress members of parliament had met the CAG during the lunch hours of the PAC meetings and were telling him to keep the Prime Minister out of it. He's named three people who've then gone on to deny that oh, they ever did something like that. Oh, but well, 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 I can't say whether they, what did they, they tell him, but there was in those days a, a, a general impression that the Congress people were worried that perhaps the report might take the needle of suspicion towards the Prime Minister. Therefore, I, I have uh, reasons to believe that they could have said like that. Because during the meeting itself, they tried to disturb it. They did not allow the uh, PMO secretary to come to the uh, PSC meeting in the evidence box. They even didn't allow the uh, advocate general, to, attorney general to come and, give, uh, uh, in the, uh, and appear as a witness. And they, they shouted and they changed the entire atmosphere of the PSC. They converted it into a political uh, cockpit. Uh, so, Mr. Joshi, if I, I can ask you, uh, among those people who did this, what you're saying, among those people who tried to browbeat, uh, as you're saying, were, were, were any, were, were Sanjay Nirupam, yeah. um, Sandeep Dixit, and oh, yeah, Ashwini was, Kumar was, among was, them? Yes, he was there. Ashwini Kumar was very mild in his comments, but uh, Mr. Dixit and Mr. Nirupam, they used to be very acerbic in the PSC meeting. So you don't find it unusual that, uh, that, that the CAG is now revealing that these three, at least two out of these three people who you say were acerbic, uh, you don't, you're not surprised uh, well, that the well, CAG well, says yeah, that they were trying is, to get, tell him to say, to find the Prime Minister I don't know. out of it. Keep the Prime Minister out of it. Uh, but they were all the time. They were all the time. They were all the time insinuating that this uh, gentleman is trying to join hands with the opposition in order to topple the government. That sort of uh, innuendos were being uh, launched against the uh, CSG. So they said that during and PSC I meetings. Tell them in the PSC meeting. No, not during during PSC meeting. But with the, 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 there were remarks in the PSC meeting were highly. I may say undignified, and they were uh, uh, below the uh, hitting below the belt. They they brought up one Mr. R P Singh, who later changed his uh, um, uh, statements and said one thing today, said another thing yesterday, and then something day after tomorrow. So all these things were taking place. Uh, I had even then charged that there were certain top Congress leaders sitting below the sitting under in their party office and directing their uh, members in the PSC to behave in this way or that way to raise this question or that question and not to allow the meetings uh, to proceed uh, uh, mr joshi that did happen mr joshi finally and and you are chairman of the PSC and you therefore have a insider's view of what was going on 
Uh, this afternoon, to two out of these three members of parliament, uh, Sandeep Dikshit and Mr. Sanjay Nirupam, have held a press conference and are saying that we are going to we are going to file a legal case. We are filing a legal case against Vinod Rai. If he does not apologize, we will drag him to court. And they are saying we will ensure oh, that well, he faces well. a narco analysis test and a lie detector test. In your view, Mr. Joshi, oh, well. uh, what oh, do you well. make of this kind of a response from these well, two individuals? Well, I say this. No, no. I, I would say that they should have a more dignified response and a more... I may say uh, fact-based response because nobody is witness uh, that what they said to Mr. Rai hmm? uh, during lunchtime or between the interregnum of the first meeting and the lunch. This is between them and Mr. Rai. But their conduct, I can only vouch about their conduct in the meeting. And on that conduct was many times irresponsible and I may say uh, unbecoming of the member of PSC. Well, well, Mr. Mr. Uh, Dr. That Moore, we had written yes, Dr. That Joshi. we had that we had mentioned that we had mentioned in a letter to the Honorable Speaker also, to the Prime Minister also, and to the Finance Minister also, and uh, 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 we had quoted from intensively from what the earlier speakers had said about the PSC meeting and about the authority of the CAG, right from Mavlanka to this day. And Mr. Pranam Mukherjee's own statement as a finance minister that they, so, there may be scams in the country, but there are institutions so personally, like CAG personally, and are you are you inclined well, to well, believe Vinod Rai? Well, this is it's not a question of belief; it is a question of facts. If <laughs> I am not a witness to this doc, uh, to this conversation, but what I can say is this: that a large number of Congress members were highly uh, uh, angry or may say disturbed and outside the PSC meeting they were making all sorts of comments. Something has appeared in the press also. Murli Mano Joshi, uh, what you say adds but a new dimension to this. Mr. And 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 uh, and therefore we'll have to we'll have to see whether a, just a legal attack on uh, Vinod Rai is going to end this whole yeah, controversy. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Murli Manoj Joshi. It's always Thank a pleasure talking see. to you.